watch three stars come on man the man that means no introduction man we got the legend in the building man you know row zero man bro hold on first and foremost man first and foremost this the what you've done for this city in h-town man um you know it's crazy we had a lot of new york cats that talk about the 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 coming up of hip-hop and where it started i want you to touch on as far as what does h-town do you feel that you feel means to the hip-hop culture what does h-town stamp on it man just let us know what you feel about that bro I mean, it's basically what you just said. We put a stamp on it. Mm. It's basically what it is. Like, you know, when you in y'all hood, y'all got a different type of slang, which and you know, like, hey, that's Dallas. Mm. And you get down it. in, you get that high and all this. You know you in the H. Talk about that's it. That's the stamp right there. Talk you about You know it. what I'm saying? This ain't the regular music industry. This is down here. This is, you know, and it slightly differs from my city to yours, but it's still under that Southern bracket but we still got our own identity. To get as far as you made it, and when you see doors getting shut as far as H-Town early on, and the doors that y'all helped open, how important do you feel is it for the uh, other music culture, the New York, the West Coast, the East Coast, Miami, and stuff like that, to embrace what Houston has done for the music culture? They don't have to. Yeah, yeah they don't got to. I mean, the thing, I mean, there's no disrespect, but it's enough people right here to facilitate every artist good or bad and take care of them for the next 77 years on publish. So I mean, ain't nobody got to accept nobody. You know what I'm saying? Like I ain't never looked it for acceptance. Yeah, talk about it. As long as I accept me, I don't really care if you like me or not, as long as I like me. There you go. And I'm gonna do my song, you know what I'm saying? Somebody gonna jam it. There you go. It's live if they accept us, because we all got people we met, we mess with all over. Then down there is people that won't push us right here at home. There you go. So, I mean, like, I don't really feel like the acceptance is is necessary. Because yes. if you can get your home, and your home got this many millions of people if it's Houston, or that many millions of people if it's Dallas, you ain't got to get out your city. You ain't and you can city. live for the rest of your life. And I'm talking about you can live. I ain't talking about being alive. I'm talking about living. There you go. Talk about it, man. Uh, you know, Dallas was able to grow uh, Mo3, who had a legion of fans. Same, ch- same like your fan base, just a legion of fans. Man, how was it for you as far as to cater into just the fan base, like you said, um, you know, outside of everything else that you've done, your fans are so loyal. Can you give it a chance to just speak to the fans as far as they're just them being loyal to you and everything that you've done and everything they're waiting for you to do, you know what I'm saying? Even outside the music. Well, I mean, one thing about it, man, uh, a fan wants to see you do different, different stuff, you know what I'm saying? So I kind of try to, you know, I cross the bar every time I can because you don't want to keep giving people the same stuff. I'm the same person, so basically I'm going to do the same stuff over and over like everybody else does. Big you do it with a twist. So, you know, I might rap hard for about five, six years, and I rap hard and sing for about five, six years. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Then Big. I sing hard for two years. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Then I get into that high haters, that type of disco, and I, I'm still <laughs> able to be me and, and still keep my subject matter. So, I mean, like, my fans stick with me probably because I don't give them the same old, same old while I am giving them the same old, same old. Now, talk about it. What, I'm curious, what did you prefer always doing? Was rapping or singing more? I don't like none of them. Yeah. <laughs> Man, he's like, listen, listen, yeah. I'm going to give y'all what y'all want. is what I'm feeling. Yeah. Have you ever um, thought of starting your own podcast? See what Kiki did, his situation, what Flip was doing, what his situation, what some others doing? Bro, the stories that you have. Uh, after watching that Vlad interview, you are made to tell these H-Town type stories. You ain't never just thought of... Nah, because I'm not made to tell these stories. <laughs> I'm made to keep this shit to myself. There you go. You know Talk what I'm saying? It. And when I feel like dropping a jewel every now and then, I do so. But if I give up my whole self, what I got left? What you got left? Nah, for real. You know what and I'm you saying? you still writing history. You still yeah. writing history. I'd rather still be in history than still telling it all the time. Talk yeah. about it. Talk about it. Now, you got artists coming up. Um, I want you to touch on as far as just... Uh, your movement as far as what you're teaching them and what, who, like who you pushing and what you got coming up as far as giving to the next generation, you know, the up and coming generation. Well, for my next generation, man, I got uh, Lolita Monroe. Lolita Monroe. You know what I'm saying? She out, my, she out my hood. And what attracted me to her was uh, she kept her clothes on and she was telling the story when she was doing her thing. There you go. Kind of reminded me of a young zero, like around the king of the ghetto, I found me her. And she jammed. Talk about and it's it. one thing, like everybody jamming, but when I found a woman that was jamming and she was talking about the stuff I talk about. There you go. So for my platform, it'll kind of feel funny if I put out something that was kind of unzero-esque. 
mm -hmm. on my platform. There you go. There I you look go. at myself as a staple, as a landmark. I'm not gonna say I'm a legend. I leave that for other people to do. Oh, we gonna say but it. The we same, gonna say it. But at the same time, if I'm gonna put my hands on anything, yeah. it's gonna be because whatever that anything is, it's got to be some type of replica of me. Even if not with the music, at least with the hustle. That's right. She just put a record out a couple of weeks ago. We talking about May the six. And on May the 8th, she was already back in the studio. Come on, man. Work it. You work feel it. me? People don't, people don't think it's easy. It come easy. Nah. Don't even worry about the head. Hey, work it. The work it. Yeah. Um, for the young cats at home, for your legendary career, we're going to call it a legendary career. What advice would you give a young up-and-coming artist that is green to this game? Like, just, just give them some game if you can, man. I mean, it's hard to give people game that don't accept or give game like yourself. So I tell people, you know, Stay independent as long as you can. I mean, a lot of people get that big old bag and they get that big old upfront money. You know, the hype might not live up to the contract. Now you're in the red with people and your shit getting told while you're at the concert or <laughs> like whatever the case may be. But I mean, it was like I was telling telling somebody over there, like, man, I don't know what your definition of success is. There you go. You got to be able to find it. I know mine is different than yours. Yeah, you got to be able to find it for you. You might, you might think it's a million dollars. I might think it's an opportunity at a hundred million dollars with nothing up front. There you go. You know there what I'm you saying? Go. You know, because my definition of success is just being able to take care of yourself. Talk about it. The Talk next dude it. is like, if I don't got a Bugatti, mm. Mm. I ain't nobody. That's it. it. Exactly. She. Exactly. She. So I mean, as long as everybody's preference is different, I can't really tell a person, you know, uh, some game. But if I'm if I'm a if I'm gonna talk to a person that's like minded like myself, I'm gonna tell them. Stay independent as long as you can. Get your fan base up. Do what you do. You, you know, let them people distribute you. Yeah, we about to introduce, introduce the world to Lola. But before we do, man, um, I want you to tell those who ain't at this function how important we at the Loud Radio Press Junket. Um, how important is it for up and coming artists to get to, to shake hands and kiss babies at these events to network? How important is that? Well, for I don't know artists? about this kissing babies and shit, <laughs> but uh, you know. And I'm shaking hands today. There you go. But best believe, you know, you tap my, my nah, my motherfucker germ mix is tapped in my pocket right now. I ain't, I ain't with our little, you know what I'm saying? I was Talk doing, to I was doing this shit before COVID. You know what I'm saying? And I don't mind shaking your hand. Like soon as I put this bitch down, I'm finna wipe the shit out of my shit. Talk you about know what it. I'm saying? So, but, 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 but what you saying is the truth. People need to come out here and, you know, I guess rub shoulder. I ain't never do this shit before, mm. cause my shoulders don't work like that. Yeah. Uh, but it's it's important to come out here, cause you know you got it. You know you got y'all. You know, uh, even though the couch ain't here, Dude, you know what I'm saying. Bro said we should have brought the couch. I should have brought the motherfucking couch. See, we tripping. We slipping. Yeah, you should have brought we the couch. We slipping on our pimping, goddamn. The whole couch and nothing but the couch. <laughs> but, <laughs> but at the, the same place. time, you yeah. out here doing what you're doing. Definitely. So definitely. to another person that might be out of y'all city. That's walking through here. Yeah. That did that didn't get noticed there. Yeah. Now they gonna get noticed here. There you go. And there then by go. the time they get back to their city, you know they're a local celebrity, and you can build off of that and become a celebrity and drop that local and put the game in a chokehold. Mm, there talk it about is. It, talk about and, uh, it. My artist Lolita Monroe. We about to put the world on game. Yeah, we about to put the world on game, man. She hard. I ain't gonna lie, she harder than a Tyrannosaurus direction. You dig? So. Y'all need to put y'all ears on her, man. They, you know, y'all need to holler at her next one time. There you go. Hey, you already know what it is, man. We got the legend in the building, man. You already know what it is. Road zero in the building, H Town. You already know what it is. Real life street stars, man. We in this thing. Shout out real street stars, nigga. Mola.